Hi guys, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Ah, it's good to see you again. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Uy, me trabé. Creo que me trabé. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Hi. It's everything fine in your homes? Todo bien en casita. How was the, the, the weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? You there? Can you hear me? Tired, teacher. Tired? Oh my God, why? For my work? You have to work on weekends? Yes. Oh my God, where do you work? Eh, lo que pasa es que trabajamos para una empresa de entretenimiento infantil. Entonces um, es cuando más trabajamos. Okay, I understand. They, uh, you work like a lot in, in, on the weekends. Como que, supongo que por ser entretenimiento infantil, lo utilizan para fiesta de niños, más que todo. Ajá. So you work on weekends the most of the time. Como la mayoría del tiempo son los fines de semana. Es que trabaja. Sí. Oh, my God. And do you like your work? What do you do? I like. Okay. What do you do right there? ¿Qué hacen allí? Cuénteme. Eh, estamos, bueno, de hecho, estamos en, no somos movibles, sino en una sola plaza. Por ejemplo, yo trabajo en el Parque Balboa. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, ahí están lo, los juegos mecánicos y somos los cambiamonedas. Ah. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, funcionan así, ¿verdad? están estables, todo el tiempo están funcionando. Entonces, sábado y domingo somos cuando más trabajamos. Yes, I can imagine. Uh, because it's the free time for, for the, um, the moms and dads, so they can take their children to the park los pueden llevar al parque I didn't know um, que hay como estos juegos mecánicos allí en el parque Balboa no sabía que habían wow, tengo creo que la vida de no ir <ríe> hace muchísimo, muchísimo tiempo <ríe> ni siquiera sabía que habían juegos mecánicos <ríe> but it sounds great it sounds great, ok um, I like your, your work it sounds It sounds great. Um, it's not too too exhausted, like to be there all the day. It's so exhausted to you. Sí, más que todo, teacher, por el horario. Oh, oh my God. ¿En qué horarios va los fines de semana? Eh, de, bueno, yo de 12 del mediodía a 9 de la noche. Oh. De 12 a 9, oh my God. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. Oh my God. I can imagine to work that um on the weekends and from and uh, from 12 to 9. I can imagine, right? Okay, but I understand why you are so exhausted right now. Ahora entiendo por qué están cansada. <laughs> okay. Um and we miss you on on Friday. Creo que no estuvo no estuvo el el viernes con nosotros, cierto, Reina. No, no, ni Claudi, ni Stephanie ni yo pudimos por lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Sí, trabajan juntas, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo que ella en Armenia y yo acá, <laughs> pero para la misma empresa. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Okay, um I I missed you. We missed you on Friday. Uh, I was like trying to to um to keep my 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 students awake, <laughs> but I think we were all so exhausted on Friday, and it it was a little bit hard. 
estuvo como algo cansado el viernes, todos están bien cansados y casi no querían participar. And I say, oh my God, what's happening? But I understand because I need to do a lot of things in the weekend. So in, uh, on Fridays, we are so exhausted too. And, and we missed our girls. Y, le, y les extrañamos también. Ya nos dimos cuenta que son las que les ponen el sabor aquí a la, a la clase. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> no, thank, thank you. you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much to you because you are you are here and you always you are always participating in our classes. Siempre están participando. Y se, se notaba que no estaba. <laughs> But um I'm so glad that you are here. I hope that you can rest in the week. If you couldn't do it in, in the weekend, I hope that you can do it on the week. And I understand that there are some things can be so hard for us to uh, work in, in, in the class, of course, because you are exhausted, you are tired because you needed to do a lot of things in the day. But we're going to start a new week and a new topics and different dynamics that we're going to do and you're going to enjoy it i'm sure so first of all i need to remind you that um no se les olvide que tienen que trabajar la plataforma me parece que por ahí por el grupo de whatsapp um, nos estaban diciendo quienes ya están al al eh, quienes ya se ya terminaron y están al día con la plataforma. Congratulations to you. I know it's so hard sometimes. Yo sé que a veces es como bien difícil porque tenemos otras cosas que hacer, pero me alegra saber que le ponen esfuerzo y dedicación a aprender. Y, y eso pues se ve en, en su desempeño también en la plataforma y en las clases. So, um, les recuerdo esto porque esta es nuestra segunda semana y vamos a empezar con la sección. Bueno, ustedes tienen que empezar en la sección número 3 de la plataforma, ¿ok? Así que no se les olvide la sección número 3 y las personitas que todavía no se han puesto al día con las dos secciones anteriores que ya deberíamos tener hechas, eh, pónganse las pilas para terminarlas y que no se atrasen, ¿ok? Si no se atrasan, es más fácil que terminemos el trabajo y que ustedes les entreguen su diploma, and all of that. So, cuidadito con la plataforma, pónganle ojo, traten de realizar las actividades al terminar la clase. Y de aprender, of course. So, dicho esto, I need to ask to the people who was on Friday in class, what was the topic um, for Friday class? ¿Cuál fue el topic del Friday class? Sorry, Carlos, I didn't hear you. No sé si yo no les... Your name. No sé si solo yo le escuché cortado. Carlos. Your name. Ah, your name. Ok, ahorita sí le escuché. Se le escuchó un poquito cortado y no sé si es la señal. No sé si es mi señal o la señal. Pero le escuché como un poquito cortado. But of course, it was names. What's in a name? That was the topic on uh, the, the Friday's topic. Okay, so what did we, uh, that we, did we see on what's in a name? ¿Qué es lo que vimos en ese topic? What's in a name? Cuéntenle a sus compañeras que no pudieron estar. ¿Qué es lo que vimos? Ajá. Teníamos, yo me acuerdo que teníamos a Héctor, teníamos a Carlos, teníamos a David. What do you remember about Friday's class? ¿Qué hablamos? Guys, you there? Pasaron dormidos la clase. What did we Sí, on Friday class. ¿Qué fue lo que vimos? ¿Se acuerdan? Piensa, piensa, piensa como, um, como Jimmy Neutron. Piensa, piensa, piensa. ¿Qué es lo que vimos?
there's no volunteer? Should I pick someone to tell me what did we saw? What did we see? <laughs> Debería escoger a alguien. Okay, veo que todos están medio shy. So, Hector, you there? Está por ahí? Can you hear me? No. Yes, teacher, no. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Hector, tell me, um, what did we see on Friday's class? ¿Qué es lo que vimos? Uh, we're talking about the mind, the mind for the asking and in, uh, I speak about the, himself. Is uh, I forget the word. He introduced or I speak about me. For example, I am a actor. I uh, I use the glasses. I am a curly. This one. That's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Hector. Si le puso atención, solo estaba tímido. Dice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Applause to Hector. Okay, that's right, Hector. Um, we were talking about what's in a name. That was the topic, what's in a name. And we were talking about the meaning of our names. If you remember, we were talking about um, what's, uh, what can you find in a name? And we, we, we said that uh, when we are talking about the name, we are talking about an identity. Remember? Identidad. Sí, como que yo me identifico con mi nombre. ¿Qué es lo que hay detrás de un nombre? La identidad. La identidad. If you remember, uh, we try to describe ourselves like Hector says, and uh, we were talking about some things about ourselves. Like for example, I was describing myself and I told you that I have brown eyes, and I am a ginger girl or um, red hair, whatever you want to say it. Um, and you were talking about if you use glasses or if you have uh, brown eyes um, and all of these things, we were talking about it. So we learned how to describe ourselves. And we said that uh, we can find our identity in our names. Like this is the first thing that uh, that I talk about when I introduce myself. My name is Abigail. So it's the first thing. En un nombre siempre es lo primero que, que decimos cuando nos presentamos. ¿Verdad? Es lo primero, primerito. Porque en nuestro nombre está nuestra identidad. ¿Y es Carlos? I was talking about of the popular name. Popular names, exactly. And, and we did a list. Do you remember? We did a list with the popular names and unpopular names in El Salvador because we did a reading uh, that was um, an article from popular and unpopular names in the United States from girls and boys. So we did our own list from the names in El Salvador. Las nombres que son bien famosos y los que son no tan famosos en El Salvador. Of course. So we learn about our identity and we learn how to describe ourselves, okay? So we're going to link that topic with the present topic that is how do you spend your day, okay? Como, como, um, como pasas tu día, como, que haces en los días, right? How do you spend your day? So we were talking about ourselves the last class and today we're going to talk about our actions. Like what do you do? What do you usually do in your in your life? For example, um, I am a student, so I usually need to study a lot in my days. So I think a big part of my days are for um are for for my studies, like um history um projects um geography and all of these things economy um and all of these things of my career so i need to study a lot because i am like finishing my career about to finishing 
uh, about to finish my career, so I need to um to study a lot. So I think it's like the the um, the and the major activity in my day. So we're going to talk about how do you spend your day. And for this, we're going to have a reading about where do you work. Y se me hizo bien curioso porque comenzamos la clase hablando del trabajo de Reina. And the, the topic of the conversation is where do you work? Donde trabajas? So we're going to see this. Me avisan cuando puedan ver mi screen. Les voy a presentar. Y vamos a hacer la conversación. Me avisan cuando la puedan ver, por fis. I can see. Okay, perfect. So I was as I was saying, this is a little conversation. Where do you work? Donde trabajas? Okay, and it's another important question when you uh, want to to know people. Um, if you remember the last week, we were talking about some questions that you can use when you meet someone new, and you said, for example, "Hey, how are you?" Um, what's your name, uh, what's up, and all of these things. So today, the question is like, where do you work? Otra de las preguntas importantes cuando conocemos a las personas y que nos ayudan en las conversaciones, right? Las típicas eh, preguntas que podemos hacer son estas. Vamos linkeando todas las preguntas pasadas de los, topics pa de los topics pasados con esta. So today is, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? So for this conversation, there is Jason and Andrea. So I need two volunteers to help me to read. Dos voluntarios que me quieran ayudar a leer. Aquí están. Ah, y andan bien participativos hoy, ya los vi. Okay. Um, Reina y Andrew tengo por aquí. Okay, Reina, you're going to be Jason and Andrew, you're going to be Andrea. Go, guys. You can start right now. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas okay. Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Thank you. I take a people on tours to countries in South, in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. What? Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, so as you can see, they are talking about where do you work. Um, this is about or works. And for example, um, for example, I am a teacher. If you ask to me, a hey, teacher, where do you work? I work with English Corporativo and in Saforp, and I am a teacher. That's my that's my work. And also, someday I'm gonna have. I pray for it. <laughs> I'm gonna have um a work uh for international relations. That's what I am studying right now. And um maybe I'm gonna be, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna be um maybe not a teacher, but I hope that I can uh continue with the with the uh, with teaching some things. And I don't know, maybe I can be like um like a teacher for for the university, 
Um, no sé si tendrán una palabra para decirlo en inglés, pero en español es como catedráticos, que son los que dan las cátedras en las universidades. Maybe I could be a catedrática. I don't know. Um, I, I think... I think I have the, the, the ability to teach. Creo que tengo la habilidad de enseñar. So I, I could do it. Además pagan bien. <laughs> so um, this is like my dream job because I, I, I am not, um, uh, I am not graduated. <laughs> so it's my dream job. But actually, well, currently, um, I am a teacher. So, first of all, I need to know if you have any questions about the conversation. Do you have any questions? De la conversación. No? Está bien. Cuando Andrea dice, teacher, hay una... A guide? El... Exacto, esa palabra. A guide, una guía. It can be a tourist guide, que es guía turístico. Son los que se encargan de las, las tour operadoras. Las tour operadoras. Que usted contrata, por ejemplo, hay tour operadoras que lo llevan, qué sé yo, a Guatemala por 20 dólares. Va una tour operadora y siempre hay alguien que los va como guiando, orientando, los lleva, les da una breve reseña de, por ejemplo, un lugar que están visitando y cosas así. That's a tourist guide or only guide, que es guía, guía turístico. Thank you, teacher. A pleasure to me. Another one? No. Everything is great. Okay, so I'm going to stop this presentation and we're going to go to the other slide. Ay, ¿qué hice? Aquí está. So tell me when you can see it. Me dicen cuando la puedan ver, por favor. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yes. So, this is a little um, activity about the six worst jobs in the United States, of course. And do you know what is the worst jobs? What is worst? ¿Qué es worst? What's the meaning of worst? Es como decir lo más peor. Ajá. Como lo no, peor. Que... Excelente. Ajá, the worst, como lo peor. Sí, ya ni siquiera lo estoy comparando, sino estoy diciendo es lo peor, right? Esa palabra worst es un superlativo eh, del adjetivo bad. Bad es malo, así como que ya de por sí es como malo, como inseguro. Eh, worst, que es como peor, <ríe> más o menos así como peor. Dice worst, por ejemplo, uh, my job is worse than yours. It's like, mi trabajo es peor que el tuyo. And you can say, no, teacher, my work, eh, my job is the, wor is the worst. Es el peor, ¿sí? Ya no lo estoy comparando. Se llaman comparativos y superlativos. Worst es el comparativo de bad y worst es el superlativo, que es como, no lo estoy comparando, sino que estoy diciendo que es lo peor. Sí, lo peor, lo peor. So, um, this is the six words in jobs in the United States, and they are based on salary, stress, numbers of hours, working conditions, security, and all of these things that you can use to qualify what is the worst job in the United States. So for this, I would like to have a volunteer. Creo que Carlos me había levantado la mano para leer la vez pasada. Quisiera ayudarme, Carlos, a leer este, este cuadrito. Hola, hermanita. Carlos. Six words yep, in the United States. Say on salary, stress, number of all working condition and security. 
Taxi driver. Which you are the years? Why? What's your opinion? Which job do you think you the work? It's three. Okay, so we have this. First of all, I need you to see the, the, the jobs. Okay, thank you, Carlos. This is fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. Do you have any questions about these jobs? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre estos? estos... <laughs> Trabajo sería lumberjack. Uh, lumberjack is like, ¿cómo se les llaman a los que cortan los árboles? Leñador. Leñador. Sí, leñador. Y me quedé pensando todavía. Pero sí, leñador. Ajá, lumberjack, leñadores que son los que se encargan de, eh, de cortar la, la madera. Lumberjack. Okay. And the others, do you understand what is fisherman, what is taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer? Which one? Of these jobs, do you think that is the worst of the of the jobs? ¿Cuál en sus en sus propias su propia opinión creen que es el peor? Constructor. Construction. Okay. Yes, it's so dangerous, right? Yes. To be a constructor is so dangerous. For example, uh, when they are building the um the skyscrapers, do you know what is a skyscraper? Like a really big buildings, un rascacielos, skyscraper, un rascacielos. So um, it's so dangerous for the people that are uh, working in the construction. Hey, la gente que trabaja en las construcciones de verdad tiene que tener mucho cuidado porque son muy peligrosos. Okay, I think it's one of the worst, uh, the worst uh, jobs ever. In El Salvador, what do you think that um that is one of the worst jobs right here? Also construction work. Construction work. Okay, construction work. Perdón, perdón, Carlos, otra vez. Alguien tiene su micrófono. I think that the electrician. Ah, uh, the people who work with electricity, for example, como poniendo los cablecitos, ¿no? Los things? Yes. No, no. High voltage. Uh, the people uh, work uh, with high voltage. Yeah, of course. They are exposed to high volts, like um, expuestos a uh, um, electricidad muy alta, right? And that's so dangerous. That's so dangerous for the people. They can die if they um, if they don't use, for example, the current protection. Teacher, no se oye bien porque alguien tiene encendido el micrófono. Perdón. Ah, sí, está bien. No se preocupe. Quiero ver. Apá, esos microfonitos, a menos de que estemos hablando. Please, please, please. Okay. So, les decía, um, yeah, it's so dangerous. People could die. Las personas incluso pueden morir, of course. Okay. Uh, what else do you think that is one of the most dangerous or the worst jobs in El Salvador? No, in the United States, in El Salvador. What else? Okay, sea un trabajo más. Tell me. Fisherman. Sorry? Fisherman. Fisherman. It's bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like to Fisher be a fisherman. Uh, mm -hmm. 
sorry? Lumberjack. Yes, lumberjack. I don't know. Yeah, it, well, I don't know if, if we have lumberjacks in El Salvador, but we must, right? Seguramente. Um, debemos tener. Um, yes, plesa. Ah, okay, yes. Okay, I would say that it's so dangerous. Yeah, like, um, si derriban un árbol y les cae encima, por ejemplo. <laughs> like, it's pretty dangerous. Oh, to be a fisherman. Um, the people who, uh, I remember that I didn't know too much about to be a fisherman. Um, y me acuerdo cuando salieron como los, eh, las entrevistas con las personas de la selecta que hablaban, pero las de la selecta de playa que hablaban sobre lo duro que era trabajar pescando. So I think it's pretty dangerous too to go to the ocean and to be exposed to the sun or to be exposed to the, um, um, like, yeah, of course, like to be exposed to the sun the complete day while they are fishing and need to return like when the nine is coming. So I think it's pretty dangerous. Okay, so we said construction worker, it's pretty dangerous in El Salvador. Lumberjack, fisherman, and an electricity workers. Las personas que trabajan con electricidad. So and that's our top for the worst jobs in El Salvador. Okay. And ah, this. We're going to, um. well, I'm going to teach you about some and professions, some jobs that um you need to know. Okay, so the dynamic is gonna be the same as always. I'm going to tell you the pronunciation of the word and you're going to pronunciation after me, okay? So the first one is custodian. Repeat everyone, custodian. 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 Excellent. What is a custodian? <laughs> Custodio o conserje. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, ambos están bien. Custodio, conserje, whatever you want to say, it is the same. And it's the people who um are cleaning in in, uh, in different places, like uh, I don't know, a mall or maybe at at, at school, for example, in una escuela. They are custodians. Okay, perfect. The next one, repeat after me: delivery driver. Delivery driver. Delivery driver. What is it? Delivery driver. Ah. Repartidor. Repartidor, of course. Repartidor. And that's a, a kind of dangerous uh, work too, of course. Delivery driver. Okay. Repeat after me. Estate agent. Estate agent. Agent. What is the agent? Agente total. Como alguien que vende casas. Agente inmobiliario. Agente inmobiliario. También se les dice agente de bienes raíces. Alguien que vende casas, right? Y como en simples palabras. Pero es como un agente de bienes raíces. And I know that the state is like estado, pero yo diría que state agent no lo traduzcamos como agente de estado porque siento que se confunde. Más bien es como eh, es como un agente de bienes raíces. Sí, alguien que vende casas. Okay. Hay mucha interferencia. Escucho más el 99 que es. <laughs> yo no, creo que no lo escucho mucho, pero, pero. Eh, ahorita que estamos repitiendo, creo que por eso se escucha. Ok, the next one. Footballer, repeat, footballer. Ok, what's a footballer? Messi. Es futbolista. <laughs> futbolista, of course. Futbolista, like Messi. Yes, that's footballer. Ok, repeat after me. Minister. 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 Excellent. What's a minister? Ministro. Ministro o ministra, of course. Um, dependiendo, por ejemplo, de qué tipo de ministro. Puede ser ministro de Estado. Por ejemplo, el ministro de Medio Ambiente, el de Educación, right? That's a minister. Okay. The next one, repeat after me. Official. Official. 
Optician. Optician, perfect. What is optician? Ophthalmologo. Ophthalmologo. <laughs> See, the people who study for the eyes, right? That's optician, the loss of talmologs. Okay, that's right. You're doing fantastic. Okay, meet after me, postman. 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 What is it? Cartero. Cartero, of course. Cartero. Okay, repeat after me. Refuse collector. Refuse collector. Excellent. What is it? Recollector de basura. Yes. Okay. Repeat after me. Bet. Bet. Excellent. Bet. Bet es como eh, la forma corta de decir veterinarian. Veterinarian is the profession. Veterinarian, así como se escucha veterinarian. Esa es la profesión, ¿ok? Veterinarian. Si escuchan veterinary, es la... Es, veterinaria es la veterinaria, pero como... El edificio. ¿Cómo explicarlo? La profesión es veterinarian. Y el edificio donde está la veterinaria, ese es el veterinary, ¿ok? Así como cortito es vet. Okay. Um, repeat after me, sergeant. 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 Excellent. What is the sergeant? I don't know. What is the sergeant? Do you remember, sergeant? What do you think? Sergeant. Like for surgery. Sí, Cirujano, of course, for surgery. Cirujano or cirujana. Repeat after me, nurse. 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 Excellent. Nurse, that is? Enfermero. Enfermero, enfermero, enfermero. exacto. Okay, repeat after me, doctor. 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 Excellent. It can be for the, 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 the two of them. Enfer eh, doctora, doctor. Repeat after me, businessman. 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 Business. Do you know what is a businessman? Hombre de negocio. Visitador médico. Mm, no, yo diría que es un hombre de negocios. Es un hombre de negocios. Business okay. viene de negocios. Business es okay. negocios. Ah, so if you say, for example, you are working by yourself. Por ejemplo, si usted trabaja como usted solo. Eh, tiene como su emprendimiento you can say I am a businessman like una, una persona de negocios that's a businessman ok repeat after me secretary 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 ok what's a secretary secretary <laughs> excellent ok repeat painter 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 painter, painter. Painter, perfect. What is a painter? Pintor. Pintor. Excellent. Oh, pintor, of course. Whatever. Okay. Repeat after me. Detective. 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 Yeah, like the, the people who works from the FBI, el FBI, they are detectives, of course. La toxic es mejor. <laughs> yeah, we are so good with that. <laughs> Okay, a chef, repeat chef. A chef. Chef. Excellent chef. Okay, repeat after me, waiter. 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 What is waiter? Mesero. Mesero, perfect. Y aquí hay una variación cuando decimos mesera. Pues mesera es waitress, repeat waitress. 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 Waitress, ok. Esa tiene una variación en géneros, pero hay, la mayoría se dicen casi que igual. Waiter and waitress, ok. Repeat after me, bartender. Bartender. Excellent. Uh, the people who do the cocktails, they are bartenders, los que hacen los cocteles en los bares. That's para tragos. Ajá, exactly. Para tragos, para cocteles, of course. That's a bartender. 
Okay, repeat after me, pilot. 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 Pilot, okay. Pilots who can drive up a, uh, a plane, los que pueden manejar los aviones. That's a pilot. That, that is my dream job, you know. I I really wanted to be a pilot. Quizás en este momento ya no me veo haciendo eso, pero en su momento quería hacer eso. That was my dream job. And the next one, this is flight attendant. Repeat, flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Excellent, flight attendant. What is it? Uh, azafata. Azafata. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Right. Azafata, auxiliar de vuelo, um, aeromosa, whatever you want to say, it is the same thing. Flight attendant, traducido como directamente, es auxiliar de vuelo o asistente de vuelo. Que es cualquiera de, cual, cualquiera de las dos cosas de bien, asistente o auxiliar de vuelo. Son las personas que están atendiendo el vuelo, right? <laughs> Okay, the next one, repeat teacher. 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 Teacher, okay, like me. Okay. Yes. Astronaut, repeat astronaut. 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 You know what is an astronaut. Okay, repeat architect. 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 Excellent. Architect, architectos, of course. And it's the same for he or for she. Architect. Okay, repeat after me. Handyman. 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 What is a handyman? Mechanic. Es como, eh, como plomero. Ajá, uh -huh. like that, mm -hmm. of course. It's like un personal de mantenimiento, plomeros, mecánicos, lo, el que le pueda las herramientas, ese es. Handyman. Okay. And construction worker. Repeat construction worker. Construction, construction worker. worker. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um repeat bell hope. Bell hope. Do you know what is a bell hope? Como botón. Es un botón. Las personitas que le llegan a cargar las maletas, por ejemplo, en el aeropuerto, en los hoteles, that's a bell hop. Ok, next one. This is police officer. Repeat, police officer. Police, police officer. officer. Excelente. El, el oficial de policía o la oficial de policía, es the same. Ok, repeat, boxer. 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 Un boxeador, right? Un boxeador. And it's the same for he or for she. And the last one, that is mailman. Repeat, mailman. 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 Excellent. And it's the same as postman. It's the same. Postman or mailman is the same thing. Es lo mismo. Sí, un cartero. Okay. Do you have any questions about um, these professions? Not it. No. Okay, so if you don't have questions, we're going to have our speaking activity. Ay, permítanme que se me trabó la copa. Mira, es. This. Okay, the speaking activity for today is tell me what do you do to live, okay? And a little description about it. For example, if I am a teacher, I could say that um uh for like for a living I am a teacher and um I need to teach my students how to speak English. That's my role. Ese es mi 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 rol como como maestra, enseñarles a mis alumnos a hablar inglés. So that's what I do. So we're going to have some uh, minutes to um to think about what do you do and write a little description about what do you do. Como, cuéntenme qué hacen y de qué se trata. See, for example, if you tell me, hey, teacher, I am a handyman, for example, tell me what do you do? Like, I need to, I, I work, for example, in, in, uh, like, uh, repairing cars or repairing motorcycles or something like that, and you need to describe it, okay? 
So do you have any questions about the speaking activity? No? Permítame que les quiero enviar, les quiero enviar esto. Las profesiones antes de ponerlos a hacer el, el ejercicio. Para que lo tengan por ahí a la mano. ¿Qué hice? Aquí está. <ríe> ok, les voy a enviar las profesiones para que los tengan a la mano y no se les olvide. Y me puedan comentar. Of course, que estos solo son un ejemplo. Hay un montón de trabajos más. Estos son como el ejemplo básico. Ok, so, questions about the speaking activity? No. Ok, so, les, siempre les dejo mi pantalla en grande para que tengan la pregunta en grande. Ok, write in your notebooks, in your cell phones, in your computers, or whatever you have right there, and tell me what do you do to live. Okay, what do you do to leave? Go, guys. I'm going to give you a few minutes to do this activity. And then you're going to tell me, of course, what do you do to leave? Of course. So go. I'm going to be here if you need me. Okay.
Okay, guys, you ready? Todos listos para esta parte. Uy, quiero ver, me cayó un mensaje el chat. Ah, dice Carlos que ya terminó. Okay. Um, you ready for this? Who are ready? Who wants to be the first volunteer to tell me what do you do to live? ¿Quién quiere ser el voluntario? Primer voluntario, voluntaria. <risa> Carlos. Okay. Please, please, please apaguen su micrófono un momentito en lo que Carlos nos da su, su ejemplo. Ok, go Carlos. Ok. I am instrumental electrician. I keep bulbs set. Transmitter. In my job, I have ensured that all the process variables in are meet. Mm -hmm. I work in a company that makes paper. Okay, that's it. Yeah, okay. Applause for Carlos. It's great to know what do you do for a live. Okay, thank you so much, Carlos. The other manita levantada is Lucia. Okay, go, Lucia. Okay, I am the, the dedicated to cleaning an office chart of keeping everything in order and attending meetings in the place where I work. That's it. Excellent. Thank you so much. Applause to Lucia. Okay, thank you so much for sharing us. What do you do to live? Okay, who else wants to tell me? Mm -hmm. Is there another volunteer? Me too. Okay, Hector, y había una más, Reina, era usted. Ok, vamos a darle el micrófono a Héctor y luego a la otra personita. Go. Ok. Um, I am a technical, technical advisor uh -huh. in pastry and bakery. My job is to visit pastry shops around the country to ad advise on products and ingredients to make cakes to make cakes yes okay it sounds great <laughs> okay thank you so much Hector okay applause to Hector thank you y había alguien más escucho otra vocecita por ahí yo sé no one Yo juro que había alguien más. Okay, is there another volunteer? One more volunteer. Uno más. At least one more. No one? Okay, David, tell me. I were as quality analyst and company manufacturing corrugated cardboard. Giant cardboard contain a partition, amongst other things. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, everything was good with this exercise. Um, do you have any other questions about this exercise or about the class? Um, ya les mandé al chat de, de WhatsApp las profesiones para que las tengan por ahí cerquita y puedan estudiarlas. Sí, no se les olvide darle una repasada, aunque sea pequeña, al vocabulario para que no se les olviden, ¿ok? Estas pequeñas palabritas son al final lo que nos permite hablar el idioma, ¿sí? Um, la estructura de las oraciones es increíblemente importante de todos los tiempos, pero más que la gramática siento yo que también es bien importante saber el vocabulario. Porque si no, no importa cuánto puedo utilizar todos los tiempos si no tengo con qué complementar las oraciones. So, practice, ¿ok? Practíquenos, practíquen ese vocabulario. Thank you, teacher. 
a pleasure to me. Do you have any more questions? Is there anything else I can do for you? No. no. Okay, so um, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class, of course. See you guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.